Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between P Pastique or something and Caprion. Um, we've got humans versus underworld, started with a kick, uh, thrown rock hitting the catcher and a touchback. And in the booth with me is Fymir and Purple Chest. Hello. Hello. Bonsoir, je m'appelle Purple Chest. <laughs> Yeah. And here we go with this uh, Gallic flavoured extravaganza of Blood Bowl. Uh, we have uh, a really nicely built but fairly ordinary looking little human team here up against some Underwhelm who for some reason get to bring two stars. Yeah, they've done a lot of TV wow. and they've just cast a guy. And they've got a wizard, get out another one. skitter, and glart. So, yeah, they've done a lot of TV. And an absolutely monstrous troll there. Block, claw, pro. I'm yeah. brody, I think. Yeah. A little bit of insight here into how Underwell might be looking uh, in the next rip edition because, of course, they're going to have a gutter on roster. Yeah, very nice. Add hugely to their agility, speed, and reactivity, but they are going to be down one of their blitzers. Um, so they're going to be hiring Glart a lot, I would have thought. Yes, but they also have Snotlings, won't they? They'll have up to 14 players in the field, which will be glorious. They will, yeah. Hello, Caprion. Oh, the man himself is in the chat. Not with vampires for once, but with another third-rate team in Underworld. <laughs> Looking for well, the extra challenge to fill something. Ultra, uh, Underworld vying quite hard for the uh, the very popular title in Blood Bowl of the Ultimate Glass Cannon team. Mm. Um, they can certainly remove anybody on their day. Uh, and if they're built nicely, they come with all sorts of fun toys and weapons. But they just do not stay. Mm. Your clicking is really bad today, PC. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Oh, I beg your pardon. Let me see if I can sort it. And it's cost 500 TV down, missing two killer blitzers for the game. Ten cards. Really got this. Underworld has a nice start, so. Ooh, does the one day get him down with Russell? That's a risky move there. It was pretty risky, wasn't it? Yeah, it's quite mighty. That's <laughs> he's not stand firm, though, is there? So on a three plus, he gets him. Well, on a two plus, he gets him away. So I guess that's what he was thinking. Just get him away. And uh, but yeah, the one the one was really bad, wasn't it? Not a fan of that play. <laughs> this could be another player down. Yeah, that was the problem with getting the assist in, wasn't it? So that even if you get him down, he just he just comes back and uh... exactly he has block and pro, so you you can expect you know to stop that troll. Yeah, that's why with blocks. Not blitzing with his orders feels bad. Oh, he's blitzing with the other guy instead. He can't stand him up because he'll get stabbed. <laughs> Oh dear. That's a great start, isn't it, for Capri on two kills and a cars. Medillion. Yeah, really getting that snowball rolling down the hill. Why does this guy have a red arrow there? What's that about? What red arrow? That's plus agility. Look at this, this guy's got a little red arrow there. Like where the block is. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is weird. Never seen that in my life. And he's not carrying a, a, a niggle or anything like that. We haven't no. missed that for years. This is a, a, a special French trick. <laughs> oui, oui, oui. <laughs> well, he's gonna need it. Because he's a... Uh... Underworld team is going for the kills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the classic strat of going for the kills. Yeah, classic, you know, kill more players than the, the other team kills from yours. I have heard it's a very effective way to score, is if the opponent has no players at all. There are variants of that, like killless kings and all that, you know. Blue Bowl very complicated, elaborate strategy level there. Follow with roll pause, is the, you know, the... Best strategy ever. Oh, I see. Yes, it's a graphical glitch, Jimmy. If you look, every single player has that little red arrow under the skills oh, pointing yes. down at the player. But oh, he doesn't. yeah. 
is is weirdly off to the side. Mm. Wow. I'd never spotted the little arrow before. No. No, I never ever spotted the arrow. No, that was, that was thing. Well, thank you, Peppered Biscuit. <laughs> no. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I've literally never noticed that little arrow. It's so crazy. No. I mean, maybe it's been added in recently. Like Total Warhammer, is this a game still under constant development to reward the loyal fan base? No. Oh, there's a backstab move there from PC. <laughs> Covered in a compliment. Masterwork. Masterwork. <laughs> I'm a little sore at the moment. It ate a glorious win of mine the other day. Oh, dear. Relying on the troll, why not? He's got block, claw, mate, Ian Pro. I, I, I'm all for relying on the troll every turn. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about this blitz as well, of course, is that the ball is entirely safe. That cage isn't based, it's in no threat. There's not any humans really to threaten it, even if that went horribly wrong. Yep. Um, so it's a good time to take that sort of risk, isn't it? Yes. Of course, there are many times where opening with a big guy blitz would be um, somewhat ridiculed. <laughs> but not, not on this stream. No, <laughs> not, not on this one. He has all the right tools, so yeah. I like, I like Skitter basing the two guys as well, so that uh, you know it's dangerous for them to stand up. You don't want to get that free stab. Let them get that free free stab off, do you? I mean, there is not much that the human coach can do right now, is that hitting players on the sides of the cage or the side of the screen. Well, it's, it's the intermediate dilemma, isn't it, with the humans? I mean, if this was an elf team, he's got the skills to get up in their face and hit them. If this was a, a really bad bash team, he would probably have not tried this level of basing and aggression, but just tried to you know, dodge off an elf wall or something. But when facing another intermediate team, another team that can do sort of both of those, you know, with the aviated humans, you're tempted to sort of try and get in their face and then suddenly you've got six humans on the field. Well, I wonder if he should just hit Glart there. I wonder if he should just hit Glart. Also, I wouldn't be, not be, I would not be exposing this uh, adjunct catcher here. This seems a very good play to allow to be punched. Shadow wing doing a thing. Hey, now we're going to see the stab. Instant stab. Oh, boo. Oh. I'm in a beautiful position in my uh, Priest of Nurgle Invitational where I had to have Hawk and Heart Ripper as my star. He's obviously been terrible because he's terrible. <laughs> but by sheer good fortune, out of the five qualifying games, I've won the first four. So it pretty much doesn't matter what I do in game five, and I am determined to do a leap of multi snap. <laughs> Just so I can say I have. Um, multi stab is block only, so. That would be oh, is impressive. It? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's ruined my day. Oh, well, I'll just have to do a leap stab then. Yeah, Le leap stab the carrier and then also do a multi block at some point. I mean, it will, it will obviously fail. <laughs> hey. Well, double skulls. Mm. Yeah, even when he's getting hits on the AV7, he's not getting through it, is he? Not really. Smashes Skitter. Well, that's a good target. Doesn't doesn't hurt. Tickles. Pickles Skitter. I think <laughs> would be. Is he, he's got to get forward at some point here, Caprion. Hasn't yeah, he? we we probably now need to prioritise movement, don't we? Yeah. That, that ogre's in a bit of an awkward spot. Yeah. Good thing is Skitter can always receive a handoff. If you have to go for that desperation hand job. <laughs> Do you think he'd be um, polite enough to offer you a reach around or <laughs> no, he's no chance. Skaven or never consider it. <laughs> oh he's putting the he's putting the shadowing on the catcher. There you go. I mean, with the move 8 shadowed by a move 9, and the agility 4 meaning that with the dodge it's a 1 in 36 to fail, those two could just go dancing all over the pitch together, couldn't they? They could, yeah. That happened in uh, several several years ago, my game versus Chunter in the playoffs, where I had uh, 
where I had Griff against uh, against uh, Skaven, <laughs> just dodging and <laughs> dodging and GFIing and just all, all over the pitch. It was amazing. So despite the low number of humans, they have managed to get right in front of this drive. Get some uh, some ball basing done, which as we all know is the secret to winning football games. Yeah. This is looking very dodgy now, isn't it? Basing with a proper player, you know, strength four and all that. Yeah, this is hard to dislodge. Time's got a tiny bit short. Yeah. He, he really doesn't want to use the wizard to do it, does he? No. So... I mean, that would feel terrible having sort of got this much traction on this drive and removed this many humans to now have to give your wizard up just to get the score home I think would feel terrible yeah but as it is he's gonna have to just dodge isn't he yeah tag the tag the blitzer with a goblin oh no okay he's got a screen there. Okay. yeah oh he's two heads so it's not that bad wasn't that it's scary it's it I still have this drawer. Uh, yeah, the, I mean the the agility catcher can come, but it would have to lose the uh, the skitter shadow. Yeah. I think it looks all right, doesn't it? Looks pretty safe. Yeah. I think he's trying to make it three dice. Okay. What well, this guy's doing? I think if that gets there, then the catcher gets a two die, doesn't it? Yeah, but you could, couldn't you just go on four, five, six, seven, eight? Oh, it was to get this. He's strength three. It was this to get this to get a two D, wasn't it? But then he just did a random yes. block. But yeah, and we did a random dislike. block on Skitter with the somewhat trapped catcher. Yeah. Which, if you can't tell from my note of contempt, I didn't think was a very good idea. No, for some reason, I thought the bulker was strength two then, but no, he, he had to get. Yeah, me too. No, he was strength three. So yeah. Um, Hmm. Well, a little tighter from the underworld than uh, the start of the drive made you think it was going to be. Yeah. No cheerleaders again. Uh, poor form. <laughs> Gotta oh, criticise everybody who doesn't have an orc cheerleader. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know how you set that. <laughs> I know, everybody knows that the Orc leaders had the, a 10% extra equity. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I remember that. Yeah, I, w I was annoyed with that gutter. I was annoyed with the, your Skaven in general. I got to hit them multiple times at Tackle Mighty Blow and never heard them. It was the beginning of the Chunter Legend that game, wasn't it, really? <laughs> it bears with Just Skaven every turn, nobody Just gets removed. Just to be honest, Chanter, annoyed is the natural state of the people that plays against you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a compliment. You are probably one of the best offensive player coaches I've ever seen. <laughs> and the most annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I always say that the Chanter doesn't have defensive uh, drives. He has offensive drive and very offensive drive. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You know, the concept of defense or not? No. The difference is which side of the pitch the ball lands. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> A little bit confused about this, but I'm sure all will be revealed. Oh, you get to, we get oh, to there you go. <laughs> well, a beautiful, yes, what a beautiful this, this won't be a one-turn attempt, then. You wouldn't think so, no. It didn't particularly look set for one anyway, did it? I mean, no, I, I, I was confused. Feet, but, yeah. Because the obvious way, with them being two back, you got the diagonal hit here, and then the, you, you, your sidestep could have gone there. And you could have easily got him out to about here, it quite easily. I don't know what he was thinking. And he hasn't even hit but the I think that was ever. past Skitter, so I think he was trying to go the other way and maybe knock the troll over first. Mm. To somehow get the angle on the Skavens to start with pushing, but it didn't look. Or perhaps he was hoping for the riot. Yeah, but even then but yeah, if you go that way then you want the side then then you want him here, don't you? Yeah, then you'd you'd be over the other side if you were hoping for the riot. No, was confusing. There you go, that's a proper... See, that's a proper chanter move. Blitz, and my star player gets the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is very difficult to score. The problem is, of course, he might just get his star player removed. Wow. Which is not what you want. I think he's going for the troll. Because the mighty, ball, mighty blow players are... Uh, Considering the lack of, yeah, 
with the lack of rerolls and the ability to reposition to stop a one turn, I wouldn't have gone to pick the baller. And why? Yeah, why is it not? Okay, so he's hitting Skitter instead. Okay. But he could have got a follow up hit, couldn't he? He could have based that guy and then hit him back for an extra hit on the skip. So a bit sloppy there. Yeah, but even then, Caprion, he shouldn't have been here, right? Because there was there, so he should have been here. He, sh he should have been here. If he was going to knock the troll down first, he wants to be here so that he can hit Blitz there and then chain him out. As it was, there yeah. wasn't a, it was just wrong. Yeah, wrong. that's what I thought, Caprio. Um, but I didn't think it had a good chance of working. Yeah. Like, maybe I'm not seeing something obvious, but it just looked... It looked shit and wrong to me. And until somebody proves me wrong, I'm going to go with shit and wrong. <laughs> Don't anybody try to prove me wrong. <laughs> not on the stream. Not on the stream. <laughs> Yes, for legal clarity purposes, that was an entirely rhetorical challenge. <laughs> and no pride was implied. <laughs> and certainly will not be redeemed if anyone chooses to take the challenge up. Yep. Good, Wayne Ferrer. Good. Wayne Ferrer with the voice of experience. <laughs> certainly of being bad. <laughs> this is so, incredible. a blitz! Haven't seen many of those. We literally just done the, the, the ducky match where Ducky got two blitzers and now <laughs> Caprion's got two blitzers. <laughs> yeah, that's how a proper Blood Bowl coach play, you know? All the getting blitzes all the time, rolling uh, sixes. That's how you play the game. So easy. Yeah. Well, clearly remembering to, uh, as you roll for the kickoff, say 10 me. As we all know, it is impossible to get a blitz if you don't say that. It's all on the wrist. It's all on the wrist. How you roll the dice, that's it. All on the wrist. <laughs> this could be a big fail, or maybe you shouldn't have tried this. Like, maybe you should have tried... Okay, he got away with it. I mean, it's a four plus to catch, isn't it? So it's... It's iffy, but with that many people around, unless it bounces through for the touchback, in which case he's horribly out of position, um, this will probably be all right, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, I just, I just kind of hated, like you know, kind of having to use the reroll if if you roll the one there, and obviously maybe roll the double one and not get any other guys into places. But I mean, I have a plan for situations like this. Um, if I was the humans here, um, I would start rolling up what I plan to smoke after the game. <laughs> probably the best you can do at this moment. Always oh, the classic Halloween trap. Yeah, except you just got his, got his, got his <laughs> get us smashed by tackle, mate. Oh my god! I mean, I quite like what he's tried there, bouncing the ball. It was the only hope, but it, it didn't seem likely to work and hasn't. Yeah. And now, as long as we can free this rat, it's probably all over. Mm -hmm. Wrestle doing a good job oh, there. Fouling skitter, genius. A solid plan, Mono Bosco. I, I need to copy Paul, get to the final just so I can concede and be banned. <laughs> well, this should be a score, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Jim, you know in your try hard soul that if you got anywhere near a final, you just couldn't resist trying hard. No, of course I couldn't. <laughs> I don't need to be banned, I can just ban myself, no problem. Have you ever tried to deliberately lose a game of Blood Bowl? It's so difficult. Yeah, I haven't it? Yeah, it is. Because it's like, it's often, well, this isn't that easy. Maybe you should have bolted or something here, because this really isn't easy now, is it? Yeah, no, the bolt just absolutely solves this, doesn't it? It gives you a route out. So I think that is the right answer, and you've got it. And that way you just get to score, get 2 0, win the game, and start protecting the team. And then get the assets through to the next round. Oof. I'm all in favour of good, quick answers, and I think the the knockout punch there was the way to go. Maybe. Lack of block killing his players here. Yeah. This is the glass bit of the glass cannon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But 
will we see Skitters, uh, Skitters shadowing have an effect now? Another one gone, oh dear. Oh, he caught it on strength four, no need to try and dodge away. <laughs> so, looking back to your question of was that the wizard moment? Yeah, 100% was, Jim, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's go for the 2 nil and that's it. Yeah. I mean, at 2 nil, it's still quite possible with Underwhelm for them to fall apart enough that they're 2 2 at the end of the full time and taking you into overtime. But at least at 2 nil, you can just play from the ground, run away, take single targets on. Mm. And all that good stuff and just try and vaguely delay them so that they score in say four skitter's this dead i had no idea when did that happen? did he did he take him out with the foul i thought this was skitter and i thought he was marking the the move well, I missed two. No, the foul i thought he just got sent off i didn't think he did any damage but did he kill yeah it looked like he did yeah it looks like he's gone oh, well in that case it was oh uh, yeah it was worth it yeah great foul yeah it was the foul oh, there you go then Oh, wow, well, Troll wasting the Blitz as well. well. This is looking like overtime, isn't it? As Caprione, you've just got to give up on the drive now. Save your Wizard for overtime. Save your reroll for overtime. Hope you get your KOs back. Hope your team doesn't get too destroyed. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I mean, you've got the control option still with the troll and Glar, but you just you don't have a good way of getting the ball away, do you? And you're down five players. So. Yeah. Although the humans, you know, are not full themselves, are they? No idea. <laughs> no nine players do they have? Yeah, they're on nine. I mean, yeah, I think you're right. I think at this point you just try and stay alive. Oh, we do come in with the quiz. Yeah, that's okay. Well, we've gone from the underworld being well on top and looking like dominating to I now massively favour the humans to win this. Yikes. Yeah, so if that had been a pow, then I guess the uh, the two heads gobble could have come in and picked it up and run away, I guess. Got it this edge for one. You could yeah. have gone away. There was options there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. The troll has been terrible, hasn't it? Absolutely terrible this half. Yeah, absolutely dog to the dog. I mean, it, it's the equivalent of when goblins, when both trolls go stupid in the same turn. <laughs> um, so at least you've got that double insurance. With Underworld, you know, the one troll, if it's suddenly not available for one turn, let alone two, yeah, really hard to stay, you know, in, in the drive. It's why, whilst they do make beautiful killers, you know, if you get a nice double on them, they are just fantastic, but really you don't want to activate it at all, you just want it stuck somewhere causing problems. Yeah, yeah three in a row with Pro, yeah, unbelievable. Do your killing with the, the Storm Vermin. Three down the edge for all of that play. Yeah. Got plenty of time to get his tuddy, hasn't he? Yeah, I, I mean, the only thing is that you're trying to turn over again in normal time, but you don't need to. Just remove all of this team, and 50% of the time you get the ball in overtime. Yeah. It does mean you're risking that he's got a goblin for the TTM, but you know, if TTM happens, then you are destined to lose. That's always been my view. Except I faced Brick, Favre, and Grotty. <laughs> uh, for the first time in ages, and possibly the last time ever. Yeah. Last yeah. night. It's going to be Grack and Crumbleberry, isn't it, soon? It is. Which is altogether a more successfully marketable name. Yes. And then I'm going to use something that, that Galak named. <laughs> yeah. And that hasn't been a contemporary joke for really a long time. Yeah. And it just never made any sense any and it made, never made any sense anyway, did it? It was fucking stupid. I hated all of the names that Galak thought of. <laughs> to be honest. I mean I I kind of admit that I do too, but then my feelings about Galak are not entirely positive, so I have always worried that that's contaminated how I look at them, if you see what I mean. Yeah. I mean I think he's a complex person that like all of us, you know, it's not just a hero or villain, but he's done 
he's not on the dode or plasmoid or voodoo mike level for me mm. but he has a lot of harm to blood bowl as well as you know, a lot of notable good yeah. it's brick fath well it's like he's an ogre for a start and not a human quarterback <laughs> and second of all why is he a, why is he an ogre that throws a goblin and why is it grotty and why is it why is it called brick fath at all i don't know it's Oh, bro, did the thing! Yeah. They're actually a very powerful pair for certain sort of niche situations. Yeah. Nope, he's failed. Uh -huh. Can't re roll anything now. <sighs> Not really because of Kekwadi, just because of having, like, you know, scoring it all and stuff, isn't it, basically? Shame that you. Lost his wizard. But it could have worked. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, we've still got the ball in overtime. Yeah. We've still got fast, agile pieces. We've still got TTM options. We've got two headed goblins. That's true. Could just go the throw teammate at the end of this. Yeah. So, reroll preservation, I'd be keeping at least one that I'd dedicate to the TTM attempt. Um, and then, yeah, at this point, you're playing for overtime as the Underwhelm, aren't you? Unless there's a really good chance to stop him. And it just doesn't look like there's ever going to be. Yeah. Then why waste people and or re-rolls that may all be needed in a different situation slightly later? And I hate playing for the ground. It's not. It doesn't come easy to me. Yep. But you've got to do it, haven't you, sometimes? Do it sometimes! The, uh, the professional blood ball, Maxim. Whee! Look at that. He's managed to get a guy splattered by Mighty Blow. Well done. Oh no, he's got one day on the ball. With Wrestle. Gets the pow! Gets the pow! Oh, he's got the kill! He's got him! Fantastic! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd love to be correct, so it is still worth, absolutely still worth going for the ball, um, because now you've won the game, probably. <laughs> I was mad. Humans oh, putting geez. not enough investment in securing this ball. Yeah, absolutely. And a little too much, perhaps, in trying to remove the underworld. Wow. wow. Oh, I'm so pleased I didn't know the result. I mean, I say that as if that is the result. No! We've been powered back. Game very much on again. <laughs> he's been oh, oh, he's injured him! <laughs> oh, I mean, I feel for both these coaches, but it's beautiful to watch as a spectator. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, just casually now. pop down and pick it up. There we go. Yeah, I do in the GFIs. Yeah, makes him safe from ground. Yeah, that means any hit, he just steps over. Also, he can say the step and score if things uh, get uh, too complicated. Yeah, it's 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 all good. But you got to go for the one day on him, haven't you? Oh, he's going to throw oh, him wait, on wait, him. wait, 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 wait. Bro did a thing. Oh, he's got two oh, day on the ball. He's got the assist, though. <laughs> Amazing. He's got that! Yeah. Oh! Oh, he doesn't sidestep in. Oh, he should have sidestep in, shouldn't he? Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah, how thing. do you not sidestep in? Oh, because you want to... No, because if you, you're going in next turn anyway, aren't you? Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. Surely they're, they're, you sidestep in. Yeah, it just gives the you the world, The world okay, want to have a yeah. turn anyway. That's, that's not good. Oh, I smell disaster. He deserves to double on this dodge now, hundred percent. Of course, it was a it was a catcher, so the uh, the goblin didn't um, didn't actually add anything to it, but it was still fun. He should he should have said he should have sidestepped in. Yeah, he sure. really should. I mean, perhaps that's not way. knowing how scoring on the opponent's turn works. Yeah, perhaps no. he feared it wouldn't advance the turn counter. That's the only reason I can think of. <laughs> it was the only action he was taking on his turn, surely. And, and why put any risk into a score that you've already got? Exactly, yeah. But he did get the score in the middle of the end zone. Great point from Pepper Biscuit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that is, uh, that's not yeah, a no. 
<laughs> now that I've considered that, I think you might be right. That, that might be better. <laughs> Ooh, this is not. This is a lazy setup, isn't it? This is a lazy setup um, for the things. One, two, you would you, three, four, five, six. No, what it is is that he's uh, taking for granted that the troll can take a step over the line before throwing. Yeah, but and then six from that space is directly in front of there. Um, so only on a th three scatters forward will it, the, the goblin not land in a tackle zone. I don't know. I would rather, but you can still just like you could you could still have just like you know moved this guy one across and then moved this guy to here or something. You know, like I think that's better. You don't want them on the extreme edges because it's they've got stunty, haven't they? So realistically, yeah, it is it is lazy. It is. I mean, five lazy. across actually covers it as well as all ten across. Exactly. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, two ranks of five covering the entire of the landing zone, um, and perhaps giving two ranks to dodge through is better against stunties. Yeah, you could, could have definitely done it a bit better. I mean, oh. I always have oh, five across can't. and then three more in the centre in front of them in the landing zones. Can't he does re-roll it? Wow, he thinks this is the win moment. What? Well, what? It is an agility plus goblin, and he is throwing from over the line, but the landing is horrible. <laughs> he makes it over the wall. It. it was the full three scatters oh. forward, Jim. Oh, I said the only way over that was the three scatters forward. Got all three of them. Incredibly unlikely as that is. Makes the three plus landing. Scoots over for the score. The dance was beautiful, wasn't it? <laughs> That's insane. Uh, you can't wane fairer. The maximum throw on a goblin is six squares. <laughs> uh, that's as far as it can possibly go. That is as far as you can throw it. However, at the currently, TTMs are always inaccurate, and then they get three scatters. So if all three of those are forwards, it can go nine spaces. Uh, which is how Doom Diver scoring works, which I know no one on Blood Bowl Blo 2 tends to have seen. But the Doom Diver, those scatters, are then controllable by the throw in temp, the um, uh, board and chain template. Yeah. Which means that you can ensure all three are forwards. You just can't pick, you know, to which of the three squares in front of you, which means the troll will always throw a Doom Diver nine spaces exactly. And then it will land if you choose it to. So with the Doom Diver, you give him the ball, he runs into the opponent's half four spaces. No, three spaces. And then the troll goes past him to space four in their half, picks up, throws him, and guaranteed he lands on the touchdown line. Genius. Um, which is very hard to defend against. Yeah. Except that there's still a lot of rolls to make all that happen. Yeah. Uh, and if they do defend against it, it makes defending against the standard TTM harder. So it means you can swap to that instead. Indeed. But anyway, um, amazing, amazing result. Congratulations, Caprion. <laughs> Can't believe that the re-roll came in, but incredible. Uh, commiserations, but stick. Uh, thank you very much, Fimea and PC. Glorious commentary, as always. Oh, lovely to see it finish with a, a Goblin TTM. That's a beautiful thing to have Beautiful, seen. beautiful ending of the game. MVP for Skeeter. What the mug? <laughs> you can ask for anything else. <laughs> and thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.